All right, I want to talk about computed styles from JavaScript being able to read the value of CSS properties. So you have CSS properties that you can set and you can retrieve the value just by saying whatever your element is dot style dot the name of the property. And that works most of the time, but not always. If there's styles that are default values, you're not going to be able to get anything back. So you would expect paragraphs to have the value of block for the display property. But unless you've explicitly set that through your JavaScript, when you try to retrieve it through JavaScript, you're not going to get anything back. So there is a method called getComputedStyles that allows you to actually retrieve what the browser is seeing as the value of that property. So for my example, I've created three paragraphs here. They've got the classes first, second, and third. Inside the second one, I added a custom data attribute just with some text just so I could access it uh, through here. In my CSS, my styles are first, second, and third. Just some very basic font properties. And then I created a pseudo element with the before value. I'm using content to dynamically read what the value from this data sample is. I'm getting some text followed by a space right here, followed by an ampersand, followed by another space. So all of that together is creating this right here, the sum text and the ampersand, those three things together. Now we have those properties and we want to be able to read any of those values. So anything that we've set here in the CSS, we want to be able to retrieve that with JavaScript. Down in my JavaScript, I just got the, the bare bones here to get started. I'm accessing those three paragraphs as first, second, and third. That's what's going to be in these variables. These are going to be strings which hold the values from any of the CSS properties I want from these three objects. Then I have an output div which is down here at the bottom and I'm going to write out the values that I have inside here. Okay, so we'll get started with the first paragraph and we're going to use get computed style. And you can see here there's two properties that it's expecting. First one is the element, the node. Well, first, right here, that's my first paragraph. Now I could write document query selector first and put that inside here, but much easier to read if I use a variable. So the second parameter is optional. We'll talk about that one next. But here, what I've done is this retrieves for me an object that contains all of the styles from that object. So absolutely everything that CSS knows about this paragraph is inside here. If I want to get the values, let's say I wanted to get the font family or the font size, I can do that. I can do dot font size. And I have to write it in the JavaScript style, which is without the hyphens using camel case. So font and then the second word starts with a capital S. This is going to give me that first value. There it is, 11.2 px. That is the value set on here. And what did I put? I put it as 0.7 REMs. So it is calculating what 0.7 is. So 70% of the 16 pixels, that's what this is coming out as. And it doesn't matter what unit I've used here, when you retrieve the font size, you are always going to get it in pixels. When you retrieve a color down here in the third, if I want to get this color, it's always going to come back to me as an RGB value. So let's do that third one, just to illustrate that point. Get computed style, and third is the node. I don't need the pseudo, but I'm going to get background color. There we are. So get computed style, that retrieves the object. This is the property from inside that object that I want, and I'm going to be writing that out here. There we are. This is the RGB value for Rebecca Purple, which was the background color for this paragraph. Now, in the second, second paragraph, I had properties, font family and font weight. I can also retrieve things that aren't there. So if we did get computed style, second, and I want to get the 
display property. That's not something that I've set. That's a default value. And there it is. Now I'm getting the actual value from the CSS in the browser. The browser knows that the paragraph is display block, even though I haven't set it. So we can retrieve things that aren't in our CSS. Just whatever the default values will come out here. Now I wanted to show you the other one, which was using the pseudo elements. That's what the second property is. If there is a pseudo element that you want to target that's related to this, I can do that. Then I'm looking at these styles. So the content is all of this, the some text, space, ampersand, space, all of that is the content property. So dot content, save it, and refresh, and there we are. There's the whole string inside the quotation marks. That's what denotes that it's a string. This is the value of the before. So the before pseudo element contains that string. And that's how you use it. With get computed style, you target an element and then you say which property or properties that you want to get. And you just have to make sure you're using the JavaScript naming convention and not the CSS naming convention. All right, any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.